Round of questions tonight uh, about a tragedy many fear has become all too common in Central Texas. A wrong way head-on crash in Kyle killed a 16-month-old, his parents, and the driver. We've been covering this breaking news since KXA News Today this morning, but tonight our Kylie McGivern walks us through the latest example of a disturbing trend. Questions linger as many wonder what more, if anything, could have been done to prevent such a tragedy. It's something KXAN looked into six months ago as the state tested alert and detection systems to try to prevent the crashes and deaths caused by wrong way drivers. There's everything from high tech solutions to low tech solutions to just trying to get people to um, drive safely and look at other alternatives if they're not able to drive safely. Possible solutions now more top of mind with four people dead, including the parents of two little girls, three and six years old, who survived and have been released from the hospital to a family member from Canada. Police can't confirm at this time whether alcohol was a factor that led to 22-year-old Wilson Molineres driving southbound in the northbound lanes of I-35. Officials confirm he is a Texas State University student that remains in critical condition. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Kyle Police plan to reconstruct this crash as part of their investigation. Sunday morning, I-35 will be shut down in that same area between 6 and 10 a.m. Last year, a KXAN investigation showed how the Texas Department of Transportation was also testing additional alert and detection systems to prevent wrong way crashes. Online at KXAN.com, you can see the full story, including one area that says these additional systems have already saved lives.